right, welcome back guys. We're gonna start out with a seated exercise, okay, for ball handling. The first thing I wanna tell you guys is there's parts, there's things you need to understand about how to dribble a ball, okay? Um, what part of the hand do you dribble with? Most people think, right, you're supposed to use your fingertips. But if you use your fingertips, what's gonna happen? Ouch, <laughs> you're gonna hurt your fingers, okay? Especially the poor tips. So it's not the tips and it's not the palm. Okay, a lot of people dribble with the palm and or they think this is how you're supposed to dribble. But what's gonna happen is you're not gonna have control of the ball, okay? So what I always tell people is use your finger pads. Okay, the same parts of your fingers that you would play a keyboard or hold guitar strings with, right? You use the pads of the finger to dribble, all right? So it's like when someone takes a fingerprint, they take the pad of the thumb or a pad of the finger. So that's what we're gonna use to touch the ball. Now, I want you to make your hand big and wide, not small, okay? So open your hand, relax it, and keep it on top of the ball, all right? Finger pads, big hand, relaxed, so you can move with the ball, okay? So you're gonna start out sitting down, all right? And just try to control the ball. See how I'm doing it? Okay, nice and comfortable, relaxed. Relax your wrist, okay? Breathe, sit up straight. Excellent. And now we're gonna move the ball to different positions and different speeds, okay? So once you're comfortable with this speed, okay, you can go lower and faster, all right? And if that's not easy, then just go at your own pace and whatever speed you can do is perfectly fine, okay? Um, from here, we're gonna go higher, right? Keep your hand on top of the ball. It's not easy, but you can do it. Good, keep it up, okay? And get lower. Now for some of you, this may be really hard, and what you can do is an alternative, all right, where Coach Sal is gonna show you. He's gonna keep the ball in the middle, and he's gonna use two hands to dribble the ball, okay? So you're gonna alternate hands, kinda like you're playing some drums, right? Okay, you can keep it inside of your legs, or you can fold your legs crisscross applesauce just like Coach Salad. All right, whatever's more comfortable for you guys. Um, now, for those of you that would like to do a little more advanced work, okay, you can switch hands, but you have to dribble the whole way. So I want you to practice like this, okay? So we start on this side, and Coach Salo's got crisscross applesauce. He's gonna go around his knees and around his front. I'm going around my feet, try to keep my legs out, and around to the other side, okay? So now I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side, and just pound the ball in first, right? Go relaxed, try different styles. Relax, dribble, pound it and dribble, okay? You can go lower, you can go higher. But the key again is keep your hand on top of the ball, wide open, use the pads of the finger, all right? Very good, and then we're gonna go around again. So dribble around the feet. Last thing we're gonna do is try to stand up while we keep dribbling, okay? So this may be something you guys gotta work on, but try it out, ready? So keep dribbling the ball, and stand up. Try it again, back down. Keep dribbling, dribble the whole way down. Okay, dribble up, ready, go. If you wanna make it difficult, try it with no hands, all right? Try it again, down, switch hands. No hands, right? And up. <laughs> Good. All right. Um, last thing you, I want you to try is sitting down and lying down, okay? So back down to the ground. You're gonna lie down all the way, dribble the ball, sit up. Go to the other hand. If that's too hard, you switch to the other side. Dribble the other hand, lay back down. Ball bouncing. Good. And sit up. Very good. Back around. And stand up. And you're done. Great job, guys. Keep up the good work. Move on. All right. Welcome back, guys. Next, we're going to wake the ball up. Okay? Pretend like the ball is sleeping and it needs to wake up. It's going to get more blood circulation to your hands. Wake your hands up and get a better feel for the ball. Okay? All you're going to do is slap it but don't hold it in close to your body, okay? 
Try your best to hold it out in front of you with your hand under the ball. And your other hand is going to come around and smack you. Okay? Switch hands. Smack. All right? And again. Good. Keep it up. Good. That's all you need to do. Okay? Shake it out. Excellent. All right. Now your fingers may be buzzing or feeling little tingly sensations. That's fine. It's just energy and blood circulating. Okay? Next, we're going to go ahead and tap the ball from side to side. Now, I want you to start out with your elbows close, the ball below your chin. Okay? So side to side. Now, Sal is going to go real slow and then start to speed up just to about medium speed. I'm going to go real slow and speed up to really fast. Okay? So your goal is to start out keeping the ball under control. You heard me say that earlier? Control. Okay? I'm going to ask you again. What's more important, speed or control? If you can give me the correct answer, I'll give you an A for the course. <laughs> All right, ready? Good, speed it up, speed it up, and bring the ball out in front of you. Remember again, you can start out slow, but just use the finger pads, okay? You can start to go faster, pick up the speed, that's totally fine. Now we're gonna bring the ball really low. Good, and we're gonna work the ball up. Work it up, work it up, work it up. Side to side. Excellent. Try not to look at the ball. Now, you may have to at first. That's totally fine. Okay? Bring the ball back down under your chin and smack it. Good. Next thing we're going to do, squeeze it with our elbows out. Uh, heels of our palms squeezing the ball. You get really low. Squeeze. Good. All right. Excellent. That's called chinning the ball. All right. If you can chin the ball every time you catch the ball, I promise you'll have better control over the ball and you're less likely to lose it. Okay? So every time um, you, you catch the ball, especially if you're in the paint, this area here, remember to catch, squeeze, and chin. Okay? Good job, guys. All right. Um, now, after the ball taps, once you go up and down, we're going to go side to side. Okay? So start out again under your chin. Good. Go out to the side, extend your arms out. Try to keep them straight, okay? Good. Bring it around to the other side. Keep your arms straight. Excellent. And bring it back into your chest, under your chin. And relax. Slap. Chin. Very good. Ball taps. All right, welcome back again, guys. Next exercise, we're going to work on catching the ball. All right, now here's the, the reason that I'm doing this with you now. It's because if you cannot catch a ball, you probably won't get an opportunity to score points or dribble a ball, okay? If in a game, your teammate passes you a ball and you don't catch it, they probably won't pass you the ball again, right? So what I want you to do is learn how to catch the ball properly so that when you get the opportunity to catch the ball, you get it and you can show everybody that you know, hey, you can pass to me and I'll catch it, all right? So as long as you can catch the ball, you'll have more opportunities to have fun. And uh, parents, it's very important for you too because I don't want you going to coaches saying, hey, why isn't my kid getting the ball and your kid can't even catch the ball? Does that make sense? All right, let's go. Um, so what, I, what, I have, what I'm gonna have you do is, since you, let's pretend you don't have a partner where you can throw the ball, because again, it's ideal to have a partner where you can catch and work on uh, catching and passing. But if you don't have that, that's totally fine. But today's exercise is just going to be for if you are by yourself, you don't even have a wall, and you need to, you want to work on your catching. Okay. So what you're going to do is just simply throw the ball up, and instead of waiting for the ball to come down and catch it, okay, which is what most kids do, and the ball ends up hitting them in the face, okay, especially if uh, someone's passing the ball. Let's say Coach Salo throws me the ball. And I don't go and catch it with my with my target hands. Let's say I put my hands down like this. Okay, that's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna get hit in the face, and it's not gonna feel good. So, what I want you to do is practice making a big target with your hands. Okay, and instead of waiting for the ball to come to you, go get the ball. All right. So watch. Throw the ball up. Extend your arms and go get it. Bring it back in. Okay. Take it step by step and go very slowly, all right? So throw it up, extend, catch, bring it in. Hold it tight, okay? Throw up, catch, bring it in. 
Now, if you want to go another step further, catch the ball and chin it. So bring the ball into your chin, elbows out, squeeze, and get low. All right, you ready? We're gonna throw the ball up, go catch it, bring it in, and chin. Throw up, catch, chin. Very good. All right, keep it up, guys. Okay, we're gonna add in a little variation next. We're gonna throw in a clap. So as you throw it up, I want you to clap one time. Catch. Okay. Up. Catch. Add in the chin. Alright. Okay. Now we're going to add two claps. Okay. And so on and so forth. You can add three claps, four claps. 10 claps, whatever you like. See how many you can do. Um, lastly, we're gonna add jumping, okay? So what you're gonna do here is throw the ball up high enough that you have to jump to go get it. Now, if you have a partner or you have mom or dad or someone who can help you, okay, uh, what I want them to do is hold the ball somewhere that's above your head. If you could do that for me, coach. Um, he's gonna hold it somewhere where I can't reach. I have to jump, right? And I'm just gonna go up, I'm gonna jump, grab the ball with two hands, chin it and bring it right back down, okay? So he's holding it, hold low, jump, two hands, bring it down, okay? One more time, up, chin, okay? And again, up, chin, okay? Now you can try it on your own too. All right, you ready? Throw it up, jump, chin, good. Excellent job. All right, five to ten of those, you're good to go. Good job, guys. All right, welcome back, guys. We're going to get into some standing and actual dribbling with the basketball, all right? So let's start out with um, standing in place, okay? Bouncing the ball and just keeping it bouncing. Now, a lot of you guys at, a, at the age you're at may have trouble keeping the ball under control. That's totally fine. Just keep trying to bounce the ball, okay? You see how it's easy for us? It's because we practice a lot. So I promise if you practice a lot, it'll become very easy for you. Now here's how I want you to practice. Remember to use your hand. What parts of your hand? The finger pads, okay? Wiggle all your fingers real quick, just like this. All right, switch, other side. Good. Now use only those parts of your hand to touch the ball. I want you to get low and bounce it and protect, okay? This is what I call a good position for control dribble. If you're ever dribbling the ball, and you need to protect the ball, this is how you do it, okay? So first, what I want you to do is pretend like the ball's in your pocket, okay? So hold the ball in your pocket and just dribble it straight up and down from your pocket, okay? Boom, right there, make sense? Then put your arm out to protect. Be able to move this hand freely while dribbling, okay? I'm sure in the beginning it's gonna be very hard, but you'll be able to do it eventually, I promise. Okay, so be able to protect the ball while you dribble and start out tall, then get lower, and then get lower, and then get lower, all right? So the key is to get as fast as you can, pounding the ball in nice and hard, okay? Then get back up taller, and taller, and taller. Good, switch hands. Ready, other side, nice and tall to start. Keep the ball in your pocket, okay? The ball is not out here in front of me, and it's not behind me or too far out to the side, okay? It's right here in my pocket, okay? Right by my side. Okay, put our hand out in front. Use your finger pads. Stand up tall, breathe, and get lower. And get lower. And lower. Good. Back up. And higher. And higher. Very good. Excellent. Okay, and the last one we're going to work on is a quick crossover. So standing nice and tall, okay, dribble side to side. A crossover is done by switching hands, but switching hands is not necessarily a crossover, okay? You, in order to be called a crossover, you have to get low, and you have to change directions with the ball. 
So if I just do this, this is called switching hands. If I get low and turn my shoulders, okay, I'm able to change directions. That's what a crossover is for, okay? A lot of these dribbling uh, exercises that we do is to create space and to keep you away from a defender. So we're gonna practice going side to side, but very low, okay? Doing a crossover up here does nothing. Nice and low, right? Below your knees, side to side, right? Go fast, slow, okay? But all speeds are very important. So remember, always practice control of the ball, start out slow, and then work your way to go faster later, okay? So speed comes after control. Does that make sense? Speed comes after control, all right? So keep that in mind, guys. Practice, 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 but always work on control before speed, okay? That's all I want you to do. Um, last thing to tell you, along with uh, being on the court or off the court, okay? So if you're off the court, you can still practice and get better at basketball, all right? Um, but my favorite thing to do is brush my teeth with my other hand, all right? So if you can brush your teeth with your right hand and you're a right hand dribbler and shooter, practice brushing your teeth with your left hand, all right? And I promise over time, you're gonna become a better dribbler and a better shooter with your left hand if you weren't that good at it before, okay? Um, and vice versa. So whichever is your dominant hand, use the other hand to brush your teeth. And tell me how that works, all right? Love to hear some feedback. Keep up the good work, guys.